Hi, I'm Candace Bushnell. I've been writing about New York City since the very late 70s. When I was writing Sex in the City, one restaurant that I used to go to all the time was 1 Fifth Avenue, and it was where everybody went before Studio 54. And of course, I thought, this is so glamorous, going out to dinner at 11 o'clock at night. It was all just like a big party. There were restaurant tours, and they would have a clientele that would basically follow them. You might go to a restaurant and know 80% of the people there. There was a lot of table hopping. You'd sit with this person, and then you might go and sit with that person, because restaurants were theater. It was like everybody is kind of in it together. They made most of their money from people sitting at that table and ordering drink after drink after drink and smoking cigarettes. Any bar, any restaurant, they would crank the music up and everybody would be dancing. So the food was kind of secondary, you know, and now restaurants really are about the food. Going to John's Pizza was like, that was a big deal, that was a big treat, and you had to wait in line, definitely. J.G. Mellon's on 74th and 3rd Avenue. Great cottage fries, delicious hamburgers, and that place really hasn't changed. The Royalton was the hot place to go for lunch. You know, you would see Barbara Walters at the number one booth. That was something that the maitre d's would figure out where everybody was going to sit. And you really knew where somebody was in the pecking order by what table they were they were at. The other big media place to go was Michael's. That was a place that had people who they might eat there three times a week. I mean, that was really how people did business. It was in-person networking. It's still kind of one of the best ways to do business in New York. In fact, it was at Bowery Bar that I signed a contract for Sex in the City, the column, to be made into a, a book. And Ron Galati, who was the real Mr. Big, was also there. He managed to get that deal bumped up another $5,000. That's what New York has that maybe other places don't have so much, is the possibility to do that in-person networking. <laughs>